Oh yeah. Hey now YouTube, what is going on? My name is of course Adil and today I'm here to review the MSI Z270 Crate Gaming Motherboard which I previously unboxed on the channel. The link for that will be down below along with the link for this motherboard right here. Now, huge thanks and shout out to MSI for sending this my way to do a review on and also to use in a build coming in the next few weeks. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that build which will be using the new KB Lake processes. Well, without any further ado, let's go ahead and check out what this bad boy is all about. So on the front of the box, you have the MSI Crate Gaming logo with three claws tearing through the box. On the back, you have an image of the motherboard along with some of the key features. Now, I'm not going to be covering any of the unboxing in this video, but if you guys want to check what you get inside, then I'll leave you a link down below so you guys can just go ahead and check that out for yourself. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and check out what we have on the motherboard. Now the Crate Gaming motherboard comes with these white kind of claws across pretty much the whole board which may be a little crazy for some but I think crazy is good and that's what makes it stand out from the rest. Now one of the key features for this motherboard is the steel armor PCIe Express slots which are painted black and white claws going across them. We also have the steel armor on the dim slots but this time they use a steel look to it rather than the white and black finish. Now in terms of memory you have support for DDR4 running at 3800 MHz plus overclocking availability with that really nice looking steel armor finish. Now moving over to the I.O. cover, again you have that claw craziness with the Crate Gaming logo across which I think looks really nice. In the top left you have your 8 phase power design and this motherboard of course supports the latest 7th gen CPUs such as your 7700Ks and 7600Ks. In addition to that it also is backwards compatible with the 6th generation CPUs so this is very versatile. Now on this board we have a total of 6 fan headers which I think is the perfect number. You also have a water pump header in the top right corner which is nice to see. Next to that you have your standard 24 pin connector and alongside that you have two USB 3 headers which is great to see as more and more cases are coming out with USB 3 ports on front panels. Now interestingly you got one of the ports straight from the board and the other is at a right angle and it's the same with the SATA ports, four being at right angles, two being straight with a total of six SATA ports. Moving towards the bottom of the board, you have your standard USB front panel power connectors along with an RGB header. Now, although this board itself is not RGB, but it does have some lighting. Now, you can control any of the RGB LED lights through the Mystic Light Synchronization System. Moving over to the PCIe Express configuration, you will be able to get a maximum of two cards in SLI and three cards in Crossfire. Now these slots will run one at 16, two at eight, or three at eight, eight, and four. Now you have two M.2 connectivity options, one above the PCIe Express slot and the other one is under the PCIe Express slot. Moving to the audio, you have the Realtek ALC1220 codec with of course your 7.1 surround support if you're into that kind of thing. Now having a look at the rear I.O, we can see a PS2 combo for keyboard and mouse along with two standard USB ports, a DVI-D port, two USB 3.1 Gen two ports one being a type c and the other a type a next to that you have your hdmi port four usb 3.1 ports gigabit ethernet port and your analog audio now i was sent out the i5 7600k cpu to test this motherboard but unfortunately my videos was lost and i was not able to retrieve them so i could not add the test in this video however i will be doing a pc build using this exact motherboard with an i7 7700k so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that well that's it from me guys i hope you guys have enjoyed the video make sure you are subscribed to the channel and be sure to drop a like down below and i'll see you guys all in the next video adios